Hey friends, it's Barbara Sue at Kowalski Mountain and today I am doing a little bit of work in the container garden. So we are in garden zone 9A and it's very hot this time of year and we also have a lot of insect pressure. And I've been fighting the insect pressure for quite a while and I actually think that I'm ready to call it quits. So my tomato plants are still producing tomatoes despite the heat. I'm having problems with leaf-footed beetles and they're a very distinctive looking beetle. They kind of look like a stink bug but they have different legs and they really like the tomatoes. And so I've been fighting them using some neem oil. Um, I've been hand picking them off. I've been killing them every time I get a chance. And I've also started picking my tomatoes earlier than normal. Um, if you remember from my last garden tour, I like my tomatoes to vine ripen. And because the tomatoes were all bad, I started pulling them as soon as they would start to blush. And unfortunately, they're still going bad. Um, the beetles are puncturing the skin somehow. I don't really know what they're doing to my tomatoes. But they are discouraging me from continuing. Um, they also have a newt, which is the juvenile form of the leaf-footed beetles, and they just, I find them on the tomatoes all the time. So I think I'm pulling the tomatoes today, as well as I'm going to go ahead and harvest the potatoes. So come on. So about a month ago, we checked the potatoes, and they're kind of small, but the plants are just not doing well. They're having a lot of bug pressure, so we've kind of just let the tops die out. I'm going to go ahead and harvest the potatoes. some nice worms. So we've got these bags, uh, potato bags that have an opening. I'm going to try it and see if I can find them a little bit easier this way. Honestly, I can tell you I don't like that already. This is interesting. A cicada shell. The worms. Nice. Those are the, probably the biggest ones I've got so far. than a half a bucket, which is not much more than the seed potatoes that we planted. It's kind of disappointing. So this is a really good example of what's happening to all the tomatoes. They are giving this cat face like look to them and they're going bad. That's why I'm pulling them out. I have to say this hurts my heart a little bit to pull all these nice plants out. Chicken? Get.
Guess I'll add that to the blooper reel. <laughs> well, friends, I have to say that pulling all those vegetables out of my July garden has really taken the wind out of my sails. There's not a lot left. Let's go ahead and see what we've got going on. Now the loofah squash behind me have done really well. I've been really pleased with this and I finally have one that's ready to pick. So if you look back in here, I've got some larger loofah squash. This one's still green, not ready to pick, but this brown one is ready to harvest. brought my scissors. Ah! That one's still intact. This is ready to harvest. You let them turn brown and uh, we're going to let this completely dry out. So this end is coming off so I went ahead and just pulled that off for you. And we can see the sponge inside. Um, we're going to let this completely dry out. We're going to do the next step. I'm going to be sure to show you a whole video about how what I'm going to do to process these, but I'm really excited to finally have one ripe. Now that one is still completely intact, so that's good. I'm glad I didn't pick that early unintentionally. I've got that large one. I've got a really nicely shaped one right here. And as you can see, this has lots more flowers. Now I've had trouble with ants on these from the very beginning, um, but they're still doing well. Here's some more. And I have lots of little ones as well. So, I mean, there's three right here in this shot right here of little ones. Actually, there's more than that. There's actually like five just in that view frame. Um, but they're really starting to take off and get a lot of fruit. So we'll be harvesting loofahs for a little while. Now I've got another one here. This one actually looks ready to pick as well. Now it got it got damaged at the top, so I'm not quite sure what we're going to find in this one. I need both hands to pick that. Should have brought my scissors. Good. I thought they'd come off easier. So here's another one. This one's still kind of damp here in the bottom, so we're going to let these dry out really well, um, and then we'll do the next step. So the green stalk still has mostly flowers in it. A little bit of dill. And this bug right here is the reason that I pulled out all of my tomato plants. Right there. It's a leaf footed beetle. And the nymphs that are the young. I hope it's focusing are just as terrible and that is the reason I pulled out all of the tomatoes right there there's a dead bug The basil is actually back in that corner behind those flowers and it's doing really well. It smells really nice. And even though I don't care for basil, I like the smell of it around the garden, so it's hanging out. Mama chicken, get, get. Mama? Go on, shoo, 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 shoo. Shoo out of my garden. Go, no, nothing else. Go. The peppers are looking really nice. I've got a couple of big peppers on there that are almost ready to pick. 
One fell off today while I was working, so that one we're gonna eat right away. Here's another one. They're doing really well still. The grapes are looking good. We've still got grapes. I mean, those are really large. Still really hard. Not really sure when they're gonna be ripe. These are slip skin grapes, so they have a tough outer shell. But the grapes are doing really well. Pineapple still hanging in there. One pineapple left. Got a flower here. This still has not bloomed. It's looking a little eat up. And then I have the green stalk on this end as well. This has got some flowers in it, some rogue tomatoes, and the okra. Really large okra right there, way overgrown. And some smaller ones up there. I'll show you the bird nest. The bird nest in the top of the green stalk is just underneath the water. So let's go ahead and see if Mama's in here. Oh, she just went out. Got three little eggs in there. I don't know if you can hear that mama bird behind me, but she is screaming. She is not happy with me. So on this end, we've got the, I think those are blackberries. And you can finally see my gladiolas, which I never did see them bloom. And then we have our pear tree right there. This, this section's all empty now. Here's a better view of all that basil. Bumblebee on that basil. So here's the harvest. We got some nice ones. That one's rotted. Let's get that one out of there. That one's green. This is probably the biggest one we've gotten. Now I have this metal basket. I'm going to put them in, let them cure a little bit. I have another one and I can't find it, so I got to dig a little bit more. This one's kind of got a spot. Now these little ones, I still cook them up. I cook up a whole bunch of them and then just uh, cut them up and eat them for a meal that way. Oh, here's another bad one. Although I have to say I'm not sure if we got enough to even cover the seed potato. All right, friends, I'm tired. I've lost a lot of uh, excitement regarding the summer garden but that is the 2022 spring garden tour for the month of july thanks for watching and if you haven't subscribed to our channel be sure you hit that subscribe button we really appreciate you watching see you later